Hi, and welcome to the CompTIA A Plus 220-1001 training course. My name is Bill Price, and I will be your instructor for this course. A little bit about myself. I'm a network and cybersecurity consultant with over 20 years in the IT networking, security, and management areas. Some of the certifications that I hold are CompTIA's A+, Network+, Security+, ITIL, CCNA, and others. Over the course of my 20 years and experience in IT, I've worked as an IT consultant, an IT director, a network administrator, managed service provider, worked on numerous ISP networks, and worked in both the private and government sectors, including law enforcement. So before we begin our course, let's talk a little bit about the A-plus certification. What is the CompTIA A-plus certification? The CompTIA A-plus certification is an industry certification that's recognized worldwide. It's also a vendor neutral certification. And what that means is the material that's covered in the A-plus certification does not land on one particular vendor, but the knowledge that you'll gain from this course will spread across all domains of all vendors. It's also an entry-level certification targeted for individuals with nine to 12 months experience. The CompTIA a is a two-test exam consisting of the 220-1001 and the 220-1002. Once you complete both exams, you have your full a certification. The CompTIA a is the industry standard for establishing a career in IT. Many technicians over the years have took this exact same course and exam. The skills that you'll master with the CompTIA a exam are in the areas of hardware, networking, mobile devices, Windows operating systems, hardware and network troubleshooting, other OS technologies such as Linux, Mac OS, and mobile OS, software troubleshooting, security, and operational procedures. With that wide range of knowledges and competencies, you're sure to be able to encompass every area of the IT world. So what is on the CompTIA a exam? The CompTIA a 220-1001 is test one of the two tests to complete the a certification. The 220-1001 exam covers five domains of knowledge and the extent to which they are represented in this course are here below. These are the domains and the percentages of the examination that they fall in. Mobile devices is 14% of the test. Networking is 20%. Hardware is 27%. Virtualization and cloud computing is 12%. And hardware and network troubleshooting is 27%. So for this course, the learning objectives are as follows. This course will cover the CompTIA A plus 220-1001 material. Each knowledge domain will be represented here in this course as modules with course lessons for the material covered in that module. There will be reviews and quizzes to help reinforce the learnings in this course, and they can be used as a study guide in your preparation to take the 220-1001 exam. By the end of this course, you should be well on your way to take the 220-1001 exam. I'm excited. Are you excited? Great. Let's get started as we embark on this journey to the cover the 220-1001 exam. I'll see you in the next lesson.